Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's lesson, we will do uh, parallel and perpendicular lines. So, in the previous video, you learnt about the gradient. So, now here I can take this line, let us say this is line L and another line M. You see, they are parallel to each other, right? So, I am sorry, I have not make it proper parallel. So, let us say another line here, we can have uh, M and N. So, M and N, they are parallel. This is the symbol of parallel. So, when the lines are parallel, then the gradient is equal. So, we can say that parallel lines have same gradient. Parallel lines have same gradient right so if gradient of one line is m1 and let's say the other line is m2 so then we will say m1 is equal to m2 meaning if the lines are parallel their gradient will be same or if the gradient is same then lines are parallel right so one thing is this one for parallel lines now what are perpendicular lines perpendicular lines meet at right angle perpendicular lines meet at right angles meaning to say uh, if we have this is line l and we have another line m here and this angle they meet each other at angle of 90 so for that case the product of the gradient is negative 1 for perpendicular lines the product of gradient is negative 1 okay so these are the two things that you need to remember when lines are parallel then gradients are equal and when lines are perpendicular grid product of the gradient is negative 1 so if m1 is gradient of this line let's say m2 is gradient of this line l so then m1 times m2 is going to be negative 1 so if you know the gradient of one line you can easily find out gradient of the second line right let's try to understand this from the examples so i have these examples here which of the following are parallel to y equals to half x now we have this line here right this is the line given to us so we have the equation of uh, y intercept form is y equals to mx plus c right so from here this is mx so c here is 0 so what is the slope of the gradient of this line gradient of this line let's say this is m1 this is half right you see mx so m is half so gradient of this line is half and let's see what is the gradient of this line here we have another line here the gradient is again you will see this line as y equals to mx plus c so what is gradient this is the gradient so gradient is also here uh, half so half is this so that means this line is parallel right so this line is parallel to the given line and now the other one so again we will compare it y equals to mx plus c so now m is 2 right so here because we had this m2 was half and here m is 2 so for this the gradient is 2 so it is not parallel to that line right so it is not parallel now what about this line you see this line is not in the standard form now but we can convert that like y is equal to half x this shifting one to other side is minus 1 now you can see this is y equals to mx plus c so what is our m m here is now the gradient is half which is equal to this line so this line is parallel to the given line right now again 
I hope you understood what we are doing here. Uh, so, you need to make every equation in y equals to mx plus c form. Uh, so, here we do not have it again in that form. So, meaning we need to make y the subject. So, 2y is equal to bringing x to other side, it is negative x minus 6. Now, divide by 2, divide by 2. The whole thing divided, this is whole thing divided by 2. So, this 2 and 2 is go gone. So, y equals 2, this will be minus half x minus 6 over 3 and 6 over 2 is 3. So, now what is the gradient here? Gradient is this one y equals to mx plus c. So, here we have the gradient uh, negative half, but the gradient here was positive half. So, that means this line is again not parallel. Right. So, we have learnt how to uh, know that line is parallel or not. You just need to compare the gradient of two lines and then you can say if the gradient is equal then lines are parallel. Right. Now, another example that I have here, uh, find the equation of the line parallel to this which has y intercept of 2. So, y intercept meaning you are given c as negative 2. Right? We are looking for the line which is parallel to this one. So, let us say the line is, uh, let us say the required line, suppose that required line equation of the line is y equals to mx plus c. Right? So, m here is now 2 because line is parallel. So, the line, uh, gradient of this line will also be 2. So, 2x and y intercept is given as negative 2. So, this is the equation of the line. You see now this is y equals to 2x plus 4 and this is y equals 2x minus 2. It does not matter whatever is the uh, this uh, y intercept, but the slopes the gradient is same. So, that means these lines are parallel. Okay, another one passes through region. Now, we are not given y intercept, but we are given another condition that passes through origin. So, I will suppose that uh, line is equal to mx plus c, right? And gradient is 2. Gradient is going to be 2 from the uh, given line. So, this is 2, and then y is equal to uh, 2x plus c. Now, this line is passing through 0, 0, origin is 0, 0, right. So, then we will substitute. So, that means x is 0, when x is 0, y is 0. So, this is 0 and this will become again 0 equals to 0 plus, c. so that means c is 0. So, what will be the equation of the line? Equation of line is equal to from here let us say this is equation 1. So, y equals to 2x plus 0. So, that means this is the line. Okay. I hope you understood the concept of parallel lines and we will do in the next video more examples based upon that so that you can understand the difference between parallel and perpendicular lines. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you so much guys for watching. See you in the next video.